DJ Academics and Young Miami going back and forth about Young Miami being a side piece or not. With Diddy just having a, a baby by a 28 year old, you know what I'm saying? This, she bad. You know what I'm saying? Just to show you that Young Miami really just a trophy in the industry, man. And Diddy got a real serious life going on with these women, man. The lifestyle that he lived, he letting it be known. And he been letting it be known for years, man. He been dealing with top tier females his whole life, man. So when you talk about a young Miami in the lineup or the female that did it took serious, she not a part of that lineup. She totally different, man. So you got to pay attention that did it sized her up on the fact that she love money, she love material possessions, and she love the fact that she got that title that she dealing with did it. But it deterred for the worst because the level of substance of our women, man, it's not there with a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? And with the, per- the type of person did it is, man, you got to be a certain caliber of woman to talk about being that man woman. So you can't trick yourself in your mind just believing who you are. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go uh, beneficial for you when you can get the same thing from any man you deal with because you in that certain circle now. But for you to take on a man who you know ain't going to never love you, never cherish you, or never put you in their wife position, you look like a fool for opening your legs to that person. See, our women got to understand and realize one thing, man. Life and nature has got its course that it runs, man. It's a certain way man deals, a certain way woman deals, and it's a certain way that a woman should respect herself, man. A man will give you the respect that you earn. And when you talk about Young Miami, then when you listen to the music, what a bag it, and all the songs that they, that the, the city girls that put out here, man, these industry guys don't size y'all up, man. They already know what you like, and they not finna put themselves in a position to lose talking about some love. You know what I'm saying? When all you putting yourself out there is good for as a sex object, that's what you gonna get. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you just gotta look at it. Man, it's been many situations where did it pretty much letting, this, letting the world know, letting this girl know that we just friends. You know what I'm saying? I got enough money to do something for you because I like you, but now nah, I ain't finna go deep in with you like, like I would just a woman that's, that I'm potentially looking to marry or potentially looking to wife. So women gotta stop being delusional, man, because man, it's a you can look anywhere and get a young Miami by the mentality. Yeah, she a pretty girl. Yeah, she got a nice body, this and that. But what more is there to this lady? You know what I'm saying? You have to add value to yourself, man. You have to carry yourself as a queen to get treated as a queen, man. Cause you didn't see Diddy getting out here publicly doing all this when he was with Cassie. You didn't see Diddy getting out here publicly doing all this with J-Lo and with other women he been with. You did not see him doing this. So basically Diddy just treating young Miami the way she coming, man. And our women gotta quit making these prostitute decisions, man. Making decisions based on what you gonna get financially, man. Because I'm finna tell y'all women on the breakdown. If a man love you, man, the resources gonna be unlimited to you. But see, when a man size you up, man, he can give you scrap. Them scraps to Diddy. I don't care how big the gift is to the broke people who looking at it. The stuff he buy for young Miami, them scraps. Diddy got all type of relationship with these Maybach companies, with these clothing companies, to where Diddy probably can get gifted this half of this stuff he giving this girl, man. Y'all got to look at the bigger picture, man. And when when young Miami getting out here arguing and standing up trying to say she comes second to no one, you make yourself look crazy because you are second to everyone if you not this man woman and he's still out here dealing with all these other women and publicly announcing it. Got his baby, just publicly announced the baby. The other female pictures all over the internet now. And then young Miami trying to stand up for it, talking about uh, cause she, what kind of possession she have and trying to make herself look bigger than other people. But if some other people don't have what you have, but guess what? They man love them, baby. So women, don't be brainwashed. Don't be so simple-minded that thinking a gift means love, man. Pay attention to that person's actions. Pay attention to the person's moves that they make. And have something about you that stands out different. Because young Miami is coming off as a replica of everything that's out here. That's out here on, on, the, on the bag chasing level. That's out here on the level of... Uh, of ready to do something for some money. You know what I'm saying? Or, or sizing the guy up because he got money and not sizing the guy up by his character. So you got to really look at it, man, pay attention to what you love, what excites you. You know what I'm saying? 
And we have to change the narrative in our life, man. And realize, man, that money is not worth your dignity, man. Money is not worth your morals and respect, man. Sometimes you have to look in the mirror and realize, man, you got to do better for yourself, man. And if a person not loving you or treating you the way that a man should treat a woman, we need to get away from the idea of how we feel personally. It's a model that's already been set how a man treats a woman. And if any woman settling for less than that, then it's her own fault, man. Don't forget, people. Charity starts at home.